just recently, I've come to find out that Kirby hit the boys a lot. Some of the boys say they were spanked on a daily basis and sometimes multiple times a day. If you're just tuning in, uh, you should have been here earlier because yesterday we talked to Kirby. Uh, they had been married how long? How many years were you married? We were married 24 years when I finally woke up. Yeah. We've been married 26 years as of yesterday. As of yesterday. So long time in this relationship. And when I was talking to him about this, um, he would go off on tangents and I would bring him back. My concern, and I'm curious about the kids' involvement in all of this. Uh, when I first watched the full-length uh, home video of Kirby spanking Renee, something disturbed me. I noticed when Kirby left the room to get the paddle, two of Renee's sons were in the room, and one son actually asked if she wanted him to hold her phone to video it. Take a look at this. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you, you, tell me what just happened there exactly. Um, Kirby was going to get the paddle. I was videoing. I wanted to get this because I was at that point of domestic violence abuse. I thought I was going insane. I wasn't doing this to go to the police. I was doing this to get him help, to show this video or at least play back to me later that evening that this really happened. And as he left the room, I, I didn't know what I was going to do with the phone, so I... I might have mouth story. I let that child know, can you hold this for me? And then he asked, should I hold it? And then I was like, no, that's my child. And I took it back and I set it on the counter. Do your children get that his behavior here is not okay? They do. They do, but they have, they're conflicted on their own. I mean, we've had a lot of counseling with <clears throat> the youngest three who are minors. The oldest two have gone through some. But the residual <clears throat> effects of this, I take very seriously. And that's actually what caused me to go to action. I wasn't able, or it wasn't worth it to me to protect myself. But when somebody let me know that video where that one child was sat on and got a red belly, that I was actually altering their whole life, that's when I started to figure out what to do. You videotaped him giving a red belly to your son, who was how old at the time? 14. Um, he's holding him down, he's giving him that, and you videotaped it. Why did you videotape it instead of stopping it? It really was the best thing to do, because I had that on video. If I would have gone after him, it could have gotten worse for him and for myself. Well, uh, uh, there may be people that watch that and watch you videotape it and say, why didn't she get something and hit him in the head? Why didn't she knock him off? Why didn't she do this? Why didn't she do that? And listen, I, I understand those questions, but let me tell you, when you're dealing with an out of control, enraged physical abuser, what you want to do is de-escalate the situation. You don't want to get physically involved. Mm -hmm. And Correct. you probably created a longer-term safety window for these children by videotaping it than by tackling him at the time. I don't advocate getting physical in those situations at, at any point. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.